Ram Ram Ram. Uh, welcome to you all uh, for the valedictory session of Learn Life Skills Through Panchatantra 1, a textual study of Mitra Bheda. We shall start the session by prayer. Guru Reva Gathir, Guru Meva Bhaje, Guru Naiva Sahasmi Namo Gurave, Na Guru Paramam Shishurasmi Guru Ho, Mati Rasti Guru Mama Pahi Guru, Bravi Mi Samskritam Vacha, Dhyaya Mi Samskritam Hrida, Kurve Seva Anchakayena, Vande Samskrita Mataram, Yonaras Samskrita Vyomni, Yalayam Ramate Muda, Samskritin Chaiva Samskaram, Vindate Natra Samshayaha. Swagatam, uh, a heartly welcome to one and all uh, for the valedictory session. Uh, firstly, uh, I would like to welcome our Below a teacher, Srimati Vishnu Priya Srinivasan. Uh, welcome to this session, ma'am. Namaskara. Namaskara. Uh, and also, uh, I would like to uh, welcome our chief guest, uh, Sri Bharat Rao. Namaste, sir. Welcome to the session. Namas Namaskara. Namaskara, Hamahode. Namaskar. Uh, now uh, I'll be. We can go to the course analytics. Uh, this course has been run to uh, run through five fifty five days and fifty five sessions. Average hours of interactions was sixty five hours and thirty two minutes, and number of videos were fifty five. Total video hours is fifty three hours, forty nine minutes and thirty five seconds. Uh, registered learners till date was 656. And this is a learner attendance. This is a chart of our attendance. And the average attendance of this course was 35. Uh, for now, I would uh, request uh, our chief guest, Sri Bharata B.R. Rao. Uh, I would like to uh, introduce him to you all quickly. Uh, Sir uh, has worked is, is currently working in an IT industry in the area of open source link Linux kernel development and resides in Bangalore. He has he has learned Sanskrit as a part of his school college and later uh, he has also uh, done his Govida exams at Samskrita Bharati. His other passions include uh, exploring the wilderness and jungle and climbing mountains. He was fascinated by original Panchatantra and, and translated it to the Kannada language and published it as a book. He also engaged with the children and got all the Panchatantra stories recorded in Sanskrit. It can be found in www.panchatantrasanskrit.com. You can go through the link. It is, um, it is an amazing work done by uh, Bharat Rao, sir. Uh, we all very uh, honored to be his presence. I would I would request my teacher uh, Vishnu Priya Magini to speak few words about her experience and about the course. Anivadaha Magini, Sarvebhu Namaskaraha, Sadaba Alarupa Pivigna Drihantri Mahadanti Vakra Pipancha Syamanya Vithindra Adimudya Ganesha Bhikami Vithatam Shriyam Kapi Kalyana Mukti. At the outset, I have to thank uh, the Almighty and uh, Yoma for providing this opportunity to me to study and teach this text. I remember studying this text for the first time for my BA exams, but at that time, uh, I never really understood the purport of the text, I should say. Neither the purport nor the deeper meanings of the narratives that are uh, presented in Panchatantra, I never understood them properly. But then this course, after uh, many, many years of uh, studying it for the first time. Once again, the course has provided me an opportunity to understand the text in a better way. I would still not say that I have understood it completely because there is uh, a huge scope uh, for you know better understanding, I would say, because I'm still not sure about the deeper significance of a few narratives, but definitely 
my understanding has deepened so i i, I thank uh, the students vyoma and the almighty for this opportunity so uh, broadly i would say that my primary take away from uh, uh, learning and teaching this course has been that of understanding the traditional viewpoint in general okay. and in particular uh, the social organization of traditional indian society that uh, you know has been presented through the text in panchatantra i think uh, that has uh, helped me understand the traditional indian society in a better way uh, there are too many takeaways so i would uh, so i will tell you, uh, i would like to share my favorite takeaway which has been understanding the position of women because uh, see some of the i have already discussed this during the class but uh, some of the verses uh, that uh, we have seen uh, in mitra bheda in two or three narratives uh, some of the verses about uh, women were very very disturbing so when i first read them it was very disturbing and it was very difficult for me to understand them in the right context and uh, uh, you know uh, get the right meaning out of them it was very difficult but then uh, i have uh, now i think that even these seemingly disturbing verses about kulatas about those women who transgressed their boundaries in that traditional society why have they been demeaned so badly yeah, why have uh, why has uh, you know so much of uh, hatred been poured upon them uh, that has uh, i have definitely understood that uh, in a better way and i think that is my primary learning because uh, through that i have been able to get a better insight about the general position of women portrayed in the traditional works because most of the works have similar verses i have seen that but panchatantra seem to have packed all of that in one place so i have understood that uh, this does not necessarily mean that the social organization should have been oppressive to women so see me uh, in the same way the relationship between a master and a servant so with the in the see uh, as a modern person it is very difficult the moment we say we see the word master and a slave we inherently find oppression in it right the very word slave or a servant for us uh, it makes us feel that it has to be a very oppressive relationship where all the benefit lies with the master and the sevaka is necessarily oppressed but then we have seen through the verses where how the greatness of service sector has been portrayed and how they have their own place and uh, uh, sevakas are glorified but still in the hierarchy it is always the master who has an upper hand and the sevar sevaka listens to the master because it is natural for him to provide a service that is asked for it is in his swabhava and uh, and because he does something that is in his swabhava that does not necessarily mean that uh, uh, the master has to oppress uh, the sevaka and so on so these are some of the insights that i have got i may not have been able to articulate all the insights that i have gathered in the given time in the class however i have tried to share them then and there based on the needs i think so once again uh, thank you thank you all for uh, Uh, so it is only because of the students continuous presence that uh, the classes have been able to go on so thank you all for being there and thank you vyoma once again and uh, chief guest bharat sir uh, thank you very much for being here today and uh, i am waiting to listen to your experience as thank you dhanyawad <laughs> thank you so much ma'am uh, this all happened because of your uh, passion towards teaching and uh, a coordination with us uh, uh, we all hope to see you for the further courses in with vyoma thank you ma'am sure bhagini thank you uh, now i would request uh, shri bharat sir to share few words about this course and about your work on panchatantra over to you sir sure uh, am i audible Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, I thought this would be an op- apt opportunity to start with uh, the Mangala Charan Mangala Charanam Shloka that is present within Panchatantra itself. So let me begin there. Brahma Rudra Kumaro Hari Varuna Yama Van Hirendra Kubera 
चंद्रादित्यो सरस्वत्युदुगन गायुर्वीभुजंगा सिद्धा नद्यो श्विनौ श्रीर्दिरदी सुता मतरश्चंडिकाद्या वेदस्तीर्थानीयज्ञागण वसुमन पात नि्यम ग्रहा मनवे वाचस्पत शुक्रा पराशरा सुताय चाणक्याय च विदुषे नमोस्तु नय शास्त्रकर्तृभ्य सर्वेभ्य नमस्कार सर्वे पंचतंत्र छात्रा सी अेष्ठा अभी चंस सी अहम तो पंचतंत्र गुरमुखेन न अधीतवा केवल पुस्तक सहायन स्वयं पढ़ितवा अतः अद अंचतंत्र विषय किं वक्त किंचि शंका अस्त समीचीन भवति वापि सन्देह अस्त तथा पंचतंत्र अस्म काले अधुना कथम प्रस्तुतमस्ती इति विषय किंचि वक्तुम्छा अहम संस्कृत साहित्य विद्यार्थी नास्मी अभी च फॉर्मल रीत शास्त्राध्ययन न कृतवान् अतः यद्यपि यदि युचित अथवा अप्रस्तुत अप्रस्तुत वदिष्या तर्हि कृपया क्षम्यता सो विथ दट डिस्क्लेमर औट ऑफ द वे लेट मी गेट स्टार्टेड सो ई वॉन्ट टू बिगिन विथ एन अनालजी दट ई अबर्व विच ई फोन्ड इज कैंड ऑफ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड रिलेवेंट so in today's world uh, what we have seen is that our attention span uh, is so less because of various uh, reasons that uh, we hardly have uh, the inclination to go beyond a mobile screens worth of data when we are reading something so nobody has time to scroll down and read multiple pages of data to gather information so everybody expects that whenever some matter is presented to them the gist of it is presented to them very succinctly in a space worth of mobile screen so i was very surprised to read the kathamukam of panchatantram where i thought uh, vishnu sharma pandita vishnu sharma also faced similar dilemma because uh, he was asked to make the three sons of king amarashakti intelligent within a short uh, period of 6 uh, months and it is said in kathamukam that if one has to go through the formal shastra adhyayana it will take years tens of years and he did not have that much time so what he did was he kind of collected the sara or the summary of uh, the niti shastra from different sources and compiled them into panchatantra so i, I find this a little fascinating that uh, whether it is 2000 years back or now i think uh, some of the things don't uh, change and it's just the medium and other things that kind of uh, changes so as per vishnu sharma panchatantra is for children and uh, he used it to educate the three princes so it is even said that panchatantram nama neeti shastram balava bodhanartham bhutale pravrittam iti so i don't know if children of that era were intellectually more advanced than the current generation of kids but i find that the matter that is present in panchatantra equally appealing not just for kids but for everyone so this has been my observation about uh, panchatantra so uh, the other thing uh, that i want to briefly touch upon is the structure so uh, the way the panchatantra stories uh, i uh, as i said i have not done formal adhyayana so i am not aware how these uh, things are taught in a a degree course or a post graduate course etc so all my uh, understanding is limited to the amara chitra kathas and other uh, st- story books about panchatantra so based on that what uh, i have observed is that these stories are presented these days uh, to our kids right uh, i don't think they are doing complete justice to the matter that is present in this niti shastra so typically the main thread story uh, invariably gets dropped and the sub stories are presented in independent stand alone manner so those these sub stories have a value in themselves uh, 
i feel it is very important to understand how they how, how do they fit in the main narration and how do they assist the some of the vadas that the characters are making there so all these things is kind of lost is what i have found in at least in the story books that are targeted towards children and uh, most of the narrations generally stick to this just the story and hence uh, the innumerable subhashitas that are sprinkled all over the panchatantra right so those are not included and hence a wealth of knowledge is mostly lost so that's when uh, i realized that it is important to read panchatantra from the original sources because uh, at least nobody was like presenting it in the format uh, that is any anywhere close to the originals so uh, what i plan to do now is uh, to briefly look at some of the learnings that we can take from panchatantra uh, for the current era due to the limitations of time i will touch upon only a few examples as uh, the esteemed teacher mentioned right it it has a wealth of information different people will take different things out of it uh, and it, there is still enough things to take away from that so based on my uh, informal reading of panchatantra i want to actually uh, talk about a few things uh, one of the first things i want to touch is about the raja dharma so prince uh, since panchatantra was written for uh, compiled for princes right it is hardly surprising that it has dealt upon the subject of uh, raja dharma and different aspects of it in very uh, detail the nature of the king the qualities of a king uh, have become part of the uh, come about as part of different stories for example in uh, the simha shashaka story of mitra bheda when the king was killing his subjects indiscriminately right they approach him and give him an advice on raja dharma by quoting this shloka right shanai 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 cha yo rajyam upabhute yatha balam rasayanam iva prajnah sapushtim paramam vrajet so this is one example there are various other aspects like the strengths and weaknesses of the ruling class the kind of rulers uh, that should be rejected the way to gain confidence of a king the advantages of being in the krupa kataksha of a king how the king should deal with his subjects and his employees these are all dealt via stories so it's not just about kings it also describes the qualities of good ministers and counselors that king has and these are all dealt in good amount of detail so what i felt was most of this are uh, i think all of this is very much relevant to the current uh, uh, political class or the ruling class that we have so the next item uh, i want to briefly touch is about the parampara or the tradition so in many stories uh, what i felt was uh, the importance of retaining what has been handed down to us via through generations Uh, this aspect is greatly stressed is what uh, i felt the tantra that damanaka makes right to get back his paramparagata uh, uh, mantri padavi it's a good example of it like people can go to great extent or people are expected to go to great extent to retain whatever that has been handed down to them uh, by uh, generations is uh, one of the good things that i found and the other thing is uh, about insider outsider differentiation uh, that i found was very interesting the way panchatantra deals with it this is one aspect i felt uh, it has which has been completely or totally neglected either intentionally or otherwise these days so uh, to talk to talk about little bit uh, on this right when we take in refugees it is important to have a long term perspective of what harm they can bring to us how incomp- incompatible they can be to our way of life and we are getting them in at what cost so all these things need to be considered this is beautifully explained in a very short uh, and simple story that is mandavisarpini matkuna story if you just read through it it appears to be just a small uh, or a very simple story which uh, children could enjoy but i think that it has a deeper meaning uh, about what i kind of alluded to the other aspect that i want to next uh, take up is this shatru nigraha and ranatantra so how to deal with the enemies has been dealt as part of many stories uh, enemies at the uh, vyaktika level the personal level enemies at the uh, at the rajya level right all these things have kind of been described it gives us a good uh, in fact uh, 
the entire third tantra that is kakolokiyam exclusively deals with the subject of shatru nigraha rana tantra and, and the other aspects around it and uh, what i see is that it gives a very good account or understanding of the kshatra parampara and how our ancestors understood the use of different upayas like uh, sandhi vigraha yana samshraya dvaidi bhava etc so it also elaborates on the importance of having solid defense um, wherever it, it talks about uh, having uh, durga vyavastha right the fortification etc i think that's what it is mostly referring to having solid defense and uh, the way kapolukiyam treats each of these upayas in detail if you look at it right uh, through the through the versions of different mantris that the king had right uh, it is fascinating to read them actually like the pros and cons and when one upaya should be used uh, uh, compared to another when should be sandhi when should sandhi be used when should vigraha be used when should you actually uh, do a palayana when you, when you should uh, step get uh, step put and when you should like use all your kapata tantras vaidhi bhava double games etc all those things are elaborately dealt with so uh, what i felt uh, after reading this is that Uh, some of the stories in this tantra right can be an eye on eye opener for the current generation which is typically brought up with the notion that sama is the only way to resolve conflicts so uh, i might be leaving, saying this within my narrow uh, scope of things but uh, this is what i felt the other thing uh, 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 the esteemed teacher mentioned is about uh, seva vritti so uh, though this is described in the context of king and his vrityas it is essentially about employee employer relationship qualities of a good leader his ability to discriminate employees based on their gunas uh, these are all well stressed actually so what are the qualities of uh, a king or an employer and what are the qualities uh, that uh, uh, the vrityas should possess all these things are uh, elaborated pretty well actually and the other important uh, aspect that kind of runs through all the five tantras is the value of wealth or the dhana enough has been said about the value of possessing wealth uh, in fact mitra bheda starts with a detailed explanation of why money is important and the means of earning money uh, through the right means right uh, the ways of earning money through the right means the importance of dhana and the ridicule and the problems faced by the poor are well elaborated uh, along with this the purusha prayatna and uh, daiva chitta uh, uh, related to dhana prapti right all these things are compared and contrasted well via stories so it and also one thing i observed is uh, good amount of uh, good number of subhashitas which are satirical in nature have been reserved to explain things about uh, dhana and or the lack of it uh, found it uh, very interesting so the final thing that uh, i had listed down here to talk about is the use of tantra so as the name says panchatantra is about using tantras to achieve our objectives so looking at the kind of tantras that are used right sometimes i i got a feeling that if they are indeed nyaya yukta or as per dharma so what damanaka does to sanjeevaka is that right can he be that brutal in breaking the friendship and uh, getting the bull killed so is that the correct thing to do right but uh, when i sat down and started uh, thinking little bit more about it and what i what it appeared to me was that when there is a need to uphold dharma when it is a question of larger interest of the community or when a shatru needs to be defeated or when our parampara is under threat and in many such situations right uh, using any of these upayas or tantras to achieve the objective is a fair game this is what uh, i understood so uh, finally uh, being good is necessary for or uh, having good people in the society is necessary for the healthy society as we all understand but an understanding that not everyone will be good is equally required one should understand the tricks and the tantras that these bad people can be uh, bad people and we need to be equipped to handle them appropriately by employing any of the means or methods for the greater good this for me was the biggest learning from panchatantra and uh, finally uh, that was about uh, my uh, limited uh, uh, understanding about panchatantra and uh, now i would want to 
uh, conclude by thanking venkat sir and vyoma labs for giving me this opportunity to address the students of panchatantra i have myself been a student of vyoma labs i have taken a few courses from them my family and i have benefited much from the education uh, that's provided by vyoma labs so lastly i urge all of you to continue with the other tantras of panchatantra uh, to help the learners to get them introduced to panchatantra as it was uh, 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 said in my introduction i have got all the stories of all the tantras recorded in video form in sanskritam along with uh, english meaning so it can be found at panchatantra-sanskrit.com panchatantra-sanskrit.com uh, i request all of you to take a look and uh, make use of it and once again thank you dhanyavad thank you so much sir uh, uh, for your very uh, kind words towards vyoma and also uh, it was very good at uh, to listen your perspective towards panchatantra it was very informative sir thank you so much for coming and uh, uh, providing us the information thank you so much sir. thank you as of all us know that the assessment will be there uh, in the coming days so the assessment will be like Uh, cbt and oral both of them uh, both are compulsory and uh, the that assessment will happen in uh, second or third week of october and other further details of where how and all uh, will be uh, shared with you through email this is our humble seva we have three websites uh, sanskritfromhome.org vyomalabs.in and digitalsanskritguru.com these are the seva metrics we have 18 self learning multimedia products 300 free courses free 16 free mobile apps and 6700 plus video and audio content and 49400 committed learners uh, as per today all these have been possible only for your, only with your generous support how can how can you uh, be the part of our journey firstly uh, one should feel that you have to learn uh, what 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 has been taught in the class at least 30 minutes a day and also should practice uh, that in a same in our home and by teaching these further to interested students uh, at least for three plus students you have to share the knowledge what you have learned and by referring yoma courses products to everyone you have to at least you can uh, share the moments share the uh, websites and all the things what you have learned to the others to the surroundings to your family to your friends um, and also you can uh, support us by taking upcoming courses uh, the vyoma is launching a a new course for kids uh it is like a, a online gurukulam the name is uh, vyoma sanatana vidya patashala this is for children 6 to 13 years um this is a 10 year course wherein which children are get to know about uh, know about and imbibe the uh, sanskriti sanskrita and samskara uh and this this will be open uh, till 8 september so um spread this information to all and if you have children in at your home please enroll to this uh, they'll be having a uh, open house session for the same uh, as you uh, click on sanskritfromhome.org you will be getting this pop up i think you have all uh, watched this uh, click on that banner and you, you that will be taken to the course page you can enroll that uh, click on enroll now and you can enroll for that you'll be uh, getting a link for the open house where you can get to know about what is the what is the theme and what is the according what are the plans what are the programs that will be conducting further so please go through this and make use of it you can also uh, donate and volunteer for yoga uh click on sanskritfromhome.org and you can see the donate button click on the donate button to donate and you can also click on volunteer button to volunteer yourself these are the information from where you can 
donate for us. Again, we iterate. This is purely optional. You can, uh, it is not compulsory to donate. Uh, it is your option. You, are, you can choose uh, whether to do it or not. We are not, uh, this is not option. This is not a compulsory thing. Learn Sanskrit, be happy, be really happy. Now, uh, I would request uh, all of you, if you have any uh, doubts, if you have any suggestions or feedback or any kind of things you can share with us, uh, please raise your hands. I'll make you a panelist. Please share your uh, experience. Jairam, sir. Oh. Are you able to hear me all right? Yes, sir, yes. Okay. Um, uh, Sri Guru Bhionamaha. Um, my name is Jairam. I'm based in London, UK. And I just wanted to uh, thank uh, from the bottom of my heart our teacher, esteemed teacher, uh, Vishnu Priya Ji. It's interesting that uh, Vishnu Sharma's Panchatantra is taught by Vishnu Priyaji, so appropriate. Thank you. Um, I, I just wanted to, I have read uh, some of these Panchatantra sto stories in the past. As uh, Bharat Rao Ji said, many of us have read them separately. It was very nice to read them all as a continuous uh, um, story. And so you get the context and why some of these idea upadeshas are given in an appropriate way. So that was very nice. And uh, my uh, few takeaways from this course were, one thing I found is with uh, Panchatantra stories is the characters, many of the characters are kind of complex characters. They're not black and white. There's a lot of gray in them. And that was quite nice, quite uh, impressive that uh, you know our ancestors so many years ago had uh, come up with these kinds of interesting characters. <clears throat> um, the other thing is I'm a computer programmer, IT person, uh, IT professional. So for me, one of the interesting aspects of the structure of the Panchatantra stories is there's a story and then there's a sub story. And sometimes there is a sub story below that, and like a recursive call, function call in computer programming. So that was very interesting how and you have to keep track of where you are in the different stories. Um, and um, also I found, um, I'm, I'm doing a few Sanskrit courses, Sanskrit grammar and some of those courses through Vyoma. And I found that uh, some of the idioms and the structure, Sanskrit words and the grammar that's used in Pachatantra is quite revealing and very educational. Thank, thanks a lot. One small, um, concern I have is I, because of my work, I might be traveling and on the road next month in October. And I think I heard the ad admin lady say that the exam will be held in the third week of October. So I'm a bit concerned I may not be able to take the exam at that date. If there's an alternative uh, date that's possible, maybe this month towards the end of September, that'll be ideal for me. Anyway, thank you so much. Namaskar. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, you can just uh, write to us. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, okay. Thank, you. thank you. Vijay, sir. Uh, sir, you're on mute. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. We can hear. Uh, Namaskar to everybody. I would like to thank the teacher, Madam Vishnu Priya, for a very uh, nice explanation about the whole stories. I really appreciate uh, the amount of work that she has put in. I intend to continue my uh, study about this on this subject to go a little deeper into the, into the stories. Uh, I have a suggestion that uh, whether it will be possible 
to create a sort of a WhatsApp WhatsApp group of the participants, where uh, the participants can discuss among themselves uh, whatever they want to about the stories. Uh, in some of the other webinars that I have attended, I have seen that a, a process like that is quite helpful to all the participants. Uh, this is just a suggestion for your consideration. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. MP Balasubramanian, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, namaskar. Namaskar, uh, yeah, I just thought I'll briefly share my uh, feedback about this program, this course. Uh, we had a great time uh, for since, I think, February attending this course. As a child, I have gone through some of these Panchatantra stories, of course, in English translation. But then uh, I just thought they were stories. Maybe because of my age or immaturity, I could not get the full uh, import of all this. And of course, the English translations are also like that. They cannot capture the spirit of the entire stuff in uh, a foreign language. And uh, when I saw the Vyoma announcement, learn life skills through Panchatantra, I was really uh, inspired to look into it because um, the title itself was Learn Life Skills. And the way uh, the teacher, uh, Madam Vishnu Priya Srinivasan, conducted the course was exceptionally good, I should say. Uh, excellent teaching. And uh, we, I used to feel personally very bad if uh, one or two classes, very rarely classes got cancelled in this uh, course. But even when one or two classes got cancelled, or I could not attend uh, those due to other preoccupations. I felt very bad. So I was, we were kind of tied to the class. I hope this, this would be the experience with others also. Madam not only taught this Panchatantra uh, very well, exceptionally well, but also kindled my interest in learning uh, Sanskrit, the language part, the grammar part, uh, she gave so many uh, points of grammar uh, on etymology and all that. I felt very much, uh, it was very beneficial. And I felt very much uh, encouraged to go through Dhatru uh, Pumanjari uh, and uh, so many other grammar texts. Uh, I feel now that we should learn the other tantras also. I hope Madam would be planning to uh, do this on Yoma platform itself. Uh, I also feel that had I learned this all uh, earlier in life, it would have been a tremendous help to me in my professional as well as uh, personal life. So I have a suggestion that um, Maybe some other version of it, if not the full, uh, you know, with all the Subhajita and all that, at least some version of these stories and the uh, instructions contained in them, the life skills contained in them, uh, some course can be designed for children uh, so that they can pick up these skills and it would be very useful for them for a lifetime, to be frank. So uh, we have been greatly benefited by ma'am as well as by the Vyoma uh, Samskrita Vidyalaya. So we are extremely thankful. We look forward to learning and we hope uh, we'll also have opportunities to share our learning uh, through Vyoma and uh, otherwise also. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Anyway. Surya AP, sir. Thank you all. Uh, I want to thank uh, to the Vyoma team and, uh, and to the teacher for this uh, wonderful section of the class. I was so much inspired by this uh, Panjagandra class and Tasya um, uh, 
അധ്യാപന ശൈലി അപ്പി അമേസിംഗ് അസ്തി ഐ വുഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് വാണ്ട് ടു താങ്ക് ടു ദർ ടീച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ദ ഓൾ ടീം ഹു കണ്ടക്ട് ദിസ് വണ്ടർഫുൾ സെക്ഷൻ ഫോർ അസ് ദ പഞ്ചതന്ത്ര ആൻഡ് ഐ എക്സ്പെക്ട് ദ കണ്ടിന്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി ടീസ് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ഫർദർ ക്ലാസ്സസ് താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് മാം സുധാ മാം so i would like to thank uh, vishnu priya ji for this class it was a great class and i think the way she conducted the class with the fre- read, as many of us have said i've read this stories in independence but never with the frame story and that sort of gives a very different context so uh, a lot of thanks to vyoma and vishnu priya ji for the way the class was done and it was done in a very interesting way like it was very captivating and again we just wanted to attend the class and i used to look forward to two days a week getting up and looking at attending the class so i hope there are more of these classes started by vishnu priya ji for the re- remaining tantras and i had one request like i know we have been uh, downloading all the pdfs uh, that we have uh, of the slides individually but I, I, in the end if there is one single pdf that vishnu priya ji has or vyoma has if it's possible to download it so we don't have to go back and forth and you can have sometimes if you want to read just look at all of them together that's the one request and uh, thank you again and uh, look forward to more classes on panchatantra by vishnu priya ji thank you thank you ma'am sure we'll upload the uh, materials what you asked for. just just one complete there must be, um, if there is one file one ppt file that is all the slides from first to last kind of thing yes yes uh, sure sure ma'am thank you shri vidya नमस्कार मम नाम श्रीविद्य अहम दश द्वादश कक्षायाम अस्मि सैनडिएगो नगरे कैलिफोर्निया राष्ट्रे वसा ऐ जिस वॉन्टेड टू से थैंक यू टू विष्णु प्रिया भगिनी द क्लास हेज बीन एक्सट्रीमली वंडरफुल एंड शी मेड द कोर्स फनी एट टाइम वेल एक्सप्लेनिंग एंड इट वॉज रियली एंजॉयबल टू वेक अप एंड कम टू द क्लास आई हेड वन क्विक क्वेश्चन विल द रिकॉर्डिंग पोस्टेड ऑन द कोर्स पेज be available after the course has been closed yes yes it will be available in the same page content page As- thank you thank you thank you sir uh, namaste mama naam narasimha aham navamaha kakshayam pathami aham api san diego nagare california rashtriya vasami i would also like to thank vishnu priya aunty for going into such depth about each and every story in mitra bheda because i had read these uh, stories when i was younger and recently but um, in the books and stories that i've read all the uh, m- many of the important details had been glossed over or not really um, explained well but here i learned a lot more in each of the stories and i also was able to understand the context and meaning behind each of the stories ധന്യവാദം थैंक यू सो मच विमला भगिनी हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल यस यस भगिनी अब आई वांट टू थैंक विशुप्रिया मैडम फॉर हर टीचिंग Uh, her teaching style was uh, very good i enjoyed uh, uh, i joined very i enjoyed very well um, um, learning panchatantra and i personally felt that um, her teaching style was um, just as as um, much as is needed she explained it very well um, that's it thank you very much to ishu priya madam thank you for your kind words ma'am thank you Um, i think that's it bagini um bagini uh, may i uh, yeah if yes. uh, we have received all the feedback say so yes yes so many many thanks to you all so the greatest motivating for a factor of fit for a teacher is to listen to the feedback from the students so i am really overwhelmed and grateful 
and happy that uh, the course has been very useful and importantly i can see that it has been enjoyable so <laughs> so as i can just say so that makes me more happy so more than the utilitarian value i am happy to know that uh, the course has been enjoyable to you all so very uh, grateful to you for your feedback thank you namaskara ha dhanyawad thank you ma'am uh, if you have any feedback or any uh, kind of doubts or any testimonials you want to give you can also write to us uh, for uh, sanskrit from home at vioma labs totten uh, and you can give us a feedback thank you so much uh, for each and every one